One of the challenges with bison is that they are an incredibly hairy <laughs> animal. If you put a critter cam system around the neck and hanging underneath the neck, what one would end up looking at is, uh, is a lot of hair because in particular the ma big males had a long beard. We just gave them a little bit of a little bit of a haircut to ensure that we could see as much as we possibly could underneath the chin. Bison are wonderful animals, but big and powerful and potentially dangerous uh, if, if not handled correctly and appropriately. The great thing about working uh, with the Nature Conservancy at the Dunn Ranch is that they have a very well coordinated, very well worked out system for working with bison. So they bring the animals in and they round them up and they bring them into these very heavy duty shoots until eventually there's, a, there's finally sort of a cage where the bison are brought to which holds them very firmly so that they don't stress and their health can be assessed. And uh, ultimately their critter gun collars and GPS collars can be deployed. The reason we put the critter cams on a collar beneath the chin is because that's the standard protocol for research with bison. And this was a pilot project to see whether or not the whole concept would work in the first place. Now, there's also another reason for using uh, the collar with the camera underneath rather than on top. Deploying a camera on the top of a collar is very challenging from a gravity perspective, from a weight distribution perspective. The, in all likelihood, the system would ultimately rotate and uh, provide essentially no image at all. So uh, on this very first deployment, we decided to go ahead and use the standard protocol, let gravity be our friend, and see from underneath the chin. We had also hoped that that would give us a great perspective of what the bison were feeding on. This project is all about the specific plants that the bison are feeding on. Um, and so we were hoping that the Criticam images would provide us that very specific high definition uh, perspective to be able to see how they were selecting the food that they were eating. This piece of land that these bison had the opportunity to roam throughout is unplowed in all of you know, American history. So it's, it provides a unique opportunity really to see how the bison impact that terrain and how native species of plants that are there help to direct where the bison focus their efforts.